Yo, replay viewers, we reached double digits on this super replay. Congratulations, Woo! everyone. Yay. Woo! Number 10. Which is weird because I thought it was going to be over in seven episodes. Yeah, that's what we were promised <laughs> from Serial <laughs> Vasquez. I said 12. I had to postpone my wedding, dude. <laughs> Did you really? Leo, you're getting married? <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah, he, oh. he broke it off like completely with this woman. Yeah. He's like, I'm it's done. It's depending on, on the number of episodes in this super replay. I don't know when I'll be free again. She was, uh, Leo's former fiance was one of those weird Egyptian sphinx things that has really weird mm. conditions and puzzles and stuff. And that was one of them. Right. There's only a specific window of time every 200 years yeah. that we can get married. <laughs> So people said we should just call this a podcast because that's what it's become. Okay. Uh, so let's do it. Three boring, or no, Leo two. Well, three, <laughs> well, three boring guys and one cool Three guy. boring guys. Top five names for this podcast. <laughs> three boring guys and Leo is choice number one. Whoa. Whoa. Shots fired. Across the bow. Mm. Uh, I accept. <laughs> Fair criticism. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess the question there becomes, like, are you not included in Three Boring Guys because you're better or worse? Mm. You're yeah. not even good enough to be boring is sort of the yeah, other yeah. side it's of that. Like, it's because like, I'm not a guy. I'm a dude. Oh. See, I'm boring by choice. <laughs> I like three boring guys and one boring dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <this is, laughs> that one. Did, That's pretty good. Do a little bit of problem solving a little bit, but... Are you talking oh, about the game over there, sir? Oh, Al? sorry. Yeah, I was just, I was just here in my own little world, <laughs> <laughs> just mumbling away. <laughs> there is something kind of hilarious about the idea of a regular podcast that just only occurs over the top of Killer Seven gameplay footage, without us ever <laughs> like, acknowledging it. Yeah, just always. Yeah, it's a great. We theme thought for it'd be real funny if during this presentation we just had footage of some random game. So, what puzzle was that? Uh, the puzzle that opens this hallway. So you just lit a candle and cut the priest. Yeah. Cool. Sometimes cool. it escapes the darkness. Sometimes it hides in it. Sometimes it engulfs us. Uh, it's a guy from Persona 4. Oh, yeah. Other times it desiccates it's John Persona. Absolute <laughs> unpity. Wherever the light may be. The hero of all Persona games. Awaits. You shall be King Traveler. Oh, just the guy talking to the guy. Yeah, Surreal, what's football. happening? What is that? What are we doing now? We're trying to kill a comic book artist because he says that we are the next, we are the villain in their next comic. Uh, and so it's one of those things where it's an Alan Wake esque thing where oh, that's right. what there he was... writes becomes true. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. I remember Christopher Mills was telling us about that. Yeah, yeah. the Christopher Mills. Stranger Death than star. fiction type. Yeah. Christopher. His word, wow. his word is rock solid. Whoa! Look at those colors. Wait, Leo, are you just now responding to the constant swearing in this game? <laughs> Seems a little much. Hold on, there was an f bomb just there. Wow, I don't know if I feel good about <laughs> that. Guy this said frickers. <laughs> <laughs> How I, hard is that? Just say frickers. <laughs> I should have been bleeping these the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> those are curse words. <laughs> I've never even heard those words before. <laughs> What's with all the purple and pink? We're not on Polygon's website. What is this? Oh, uh, this is actually Polygon's new website. <laughs> Post McElroy era. Yeah, it's a yeah. little violent without those McElroy boys. That's they were. Right. Turns out they were holding back the Eldritch Polygon horrors. <laughs> <laughs> no, their website is purple and pink. Fair. Nothing wrong with that. Fair to say. They do have a good website. Mm -hmm. No shots fired. No, just the troops. It's all we speak here. That's the number one tenant of this podcast. Wait a minute. Speak truth to power. If we only speak truth. Whoa. Kind of like if the the Alan Wake writing it and it comes true scenario. Mm -hmm. If we only speak truth on this podcast, does that mean anything? Whatever we say is true. Anything we say becomes true. Has already come true. Yeah. Because we're saying it. Yeah. That's interesting. Whoa. That's what's going to happen in the next Avengers movie. Ooh. They don't act through things. They don't fight through things. They speak through it. Mm. 
On the next episode of Three Boring Guys and One Boring Dude, we speculate about the future of Marvel's Avengers franchise. <laughs> Finally! Our second spoiler cast. <laughs> so what are things we could say to make happen? Hmm, yep. Hmm. I'm going to finish this game. <laughs> <laughs> Suda51 will appear before us. <laughs> Keep trying, Leo. <laughs> are you going to finish this this episode? Theria? No. Under, well, this, are you still thinking this 12? chapter or this game? What are you going to finish this episode within this episode? <laughs> As in, like, no. you know, <laughs> in, the, in the next fifty-five minutes or so, are we going to see the credits of this game? N- no. Okay. Not. Is that a failure to... on your part or <laughs> our part? Uh, I mean, it's a collective failure, I think. Well, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm not into like a sharing the blame <laughs> scenario. <laughs> it's Travis. Oh, Leo. Yeah. You should reveal the present we got. I like that he, even with his uh, tuxedo, he's, his shirt still says highway. <laughs> Do we have the name of the person who sent it in? No, it was anonymous. Oh, my God. Somebody sent in a black tank top with the word sexual in pink. Really? It's incredible. Are you wearing it right now? <laughs> no, I have it at home. Oh. In a glass box. <laughs> <laughs> One of my many glass boxes that I have for displaying. Right. Do you it's have awesome. like a, did you put it in on a mannequin and then... Decided I'm going to buy a mannequin just for this tank top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I can see what I'm going to look like. I'm going <laughs> to buy a mannequin as if Leo doesn't already have like a basement full of mannequins. <laughs> I need to get a new one because they all had clothes on already. Oh, uh. <laughs> and different outfits. <laughs> What's your favorite mannequin, Leo, that you have? Oh, God, out of all of them? I have one that's wearing like board shorts <laughs> and a Tommy Bahama shirt. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> And that's the outfit I don't dare put on, but someday I'll get the courage. I have a Surreal mannequin at home. What? Whoa. Why? What, it's, what's it, going it's not what is it wearing? It's not wearing anything. That's the oh. point. That's weird. No, <laughs> that's and the it's, point. And it's not so much a mannequin as it is a homunculus. Oh. oh. Or maybe like a voodoo creature. Oh my. What's the difference? Uh, I think one of them's gooier. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> was it was it was it named after me? Because you know it's fun. No, or no, no, no. Or... It's a, no, no. It's it's a different surreal. Com- Jeez. Okay. The world revolves around you. It's like I don't have other surreal friends. <laughs> You're right. I I totally made <laughs> the assertion, the unjust assertion that you wouldn't have other homunculi <laughs> and or voodoo creatures named surreal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you were to say you had a Juba doll at home, I wouldn't immediately think, like, oh, that's me. Oh, I wonder which Juba that is. Yeah, there are lots of Jubas. I know a lot of Jubas. Yeah, well, yeah. Top five Jubas. Oh, man. Dick mm. is number one. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I'd put myself in the top five. I mean, you have a shirt that would put you at the uh, top. Your cousins are pretty one. damn cool, dude. Oh, man. Pretty much all my cousins are cooler than I am. What about Juba Juice, the restaurant? Mm. Uh, I don't think that's a thing. Oh, okay. Are you, <laughs> I, I don't point. think that's... A, well, it uh, is now because he's, he called it, and that's what oh, I... Oh, yeah. Oh, good oh. eye, Cereal. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I good get it. Good eye for work. Like Jamba Juice, but... Uh, okay, yeah. okay. That took me a Thank second. You. Sorry. You mean, <laughs> you mean Juba Juice. <laughs> oh, somebody anonymously sent in a trophy for me for that joke. That's cool. <laughs> They knew you were going to make this joke. <laughs> Preemptively saying. <laughs> just a statue that says Juba Juice at the bottom of it? <laughs> it just says for that one joke, you know the one. Ugh. Mm. Uh, I think we should cut that conversation off. Okay. Do we have more Jubas for the top five Jubas list? Uh, <sighs> Dick. And then... So, my Uncle Dick was Reiner's boss at the grocery store for yeah. a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said he is, Reiner is not very good at bagging. Yeah, I, I got yelled at for putting eggs on top of bread. <laughs> oh, you don't do that. This, it smashes the bread. Like, the dude was watching me from like a, <laughs> one of those trick windows, you know, where it's a mirror. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the office, the yeah. office in, the, in the grocery store. He's watching store. the bag boys up there. Yeah. <laughs> Probably should have called the cops or something. I don't know. Yeah. I, w- I wonder to what degree my... Juba network of connections helped me get this job Juba when I network. initially when I initially got it because Reiner knew my uncle Dick and Matt Helgeson was like knew my uncle Tom and was like friends with some of my cousins down in Bluer. Yeah, I think 
there was just a lot of laughter <laughs> for a while, if, I, if memory serves me correctly. I'm being 100% serious. And then Matt and I were both just like, I worked here and I knew this guy and I knew that guy. Anybody know Joe? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, should we be worried about that or is that a good thing? Because I remember one of the first things, like when I came in for an interview, like Andy was like, okay, look, we got to get this out of the way. Are you related to either of these Jubas? And I was like, yeah, those are my uncles. Uh, that, that's actually not a bad way to start an interview. When, yeah. Oh, you got a connection. Yeah. A story to tell. Yeah, that works out. So, yeah, a lot of uh, like how to get a job guides will say, make sure your uncle is the boss of somebody. Yeah, you're yeah. With. Yeah, you, you have to plan that a little far in advance. Yeah. It's called networking. Yeah. Mm, the Juba Network. Yeah. Are we getting close to this artist? We're getting closer. We have another sample that he's about to give us. First, we got to hear him talk about the artist mansion. We got RGB. That's all we need. Ooh. RGB. Roy G. Biv. Mm-hmm. Which do you guys know any Roy's? I don't mm. think I've ever met someone named Roy. It's I, okay. This is totally random, but also totally true. As, what is now? as I was driving into work just this morning, I saw a truck that was like, you know, express delivery. And I was like, what? It, wouldn't it make a good Twitter or Facebook post or something? To say, express deliver Roy when you need, when you absolutely need your Roy today. Today. <laughs> what do you get from said Roy? I don't know. Well, because I, I was then tossing around the same question that Suriel just posed of like, do you know any Roys? And the only one I can think of is like, uh, Pam's fiance in the office. Oh sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roy yeah. from the IT crowd. Fuck you. Another mm. classic Roy. Okay. You know, but do you know any Roys personally? Yeah. Well, like a rookie of the year? Like I have met someone in real life standing before me and their name is Roy. Well, is Roy short for something? Elroy? I don't know. Just Roy-no? someone someone who go <laughs> Ren- who for whatever reason Ren- goes Nardo? by Roy. <laughs> Leroy Nardo. What? I know an Andrew Reiner. <laughs> Dude, you can't do that when I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> Andrew Reiner. Or is it Groiner? <laughs> a, a lot of people, like in grade school, went to Wiener. <laughs> oh, sure. Mm. Which I was like, that's just not even. I mean, it's kind of close. That's always a classic go stretch. And then I'd punch them in theirs. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, I bet in the you right, did. right in the Reiner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not even offended by that. If you want to call your thing the Reiner. Oh, yeah. 100% <laughs> behind you. That's like, the greatest. Go for it. That's the most flattering thing <laughs> that can be done is somebody names their groin after you. I mean, people protect it. They hide it. It's so valuable. That's right. They're hide. borderline ashamed of it. Yeah. Hide it from sight because it's revolting. <laughs> <laughs> also, there are laws again. There are laws that tell you you should, you should, you should probably hide it. Mm. I mean, now. although to be fair, for laws now. are just suggestions. Like, they're going to fine you if you... If, but anyway. Okay. I digress. What, Leo... Uh, okay, so people called Andrew Reiner Andrew Weiner. Mm-hmm. Leo, what did you, what were some of your gr- grade school uh, insults that people hurled your way? Uh, I got Master Vader sometimes. That's uh, not an insult. That's pretty good, actually. Well, like, it's, if you and take it apart, Surreal, and think okay. about what it rhymes with very closely. It's not, it's not a Star Wars thing. Right. Yeah. Some, a teacher said that as a Star Wars thing and then immediately realized what they said. But it was too late. The class knew. The class had it. Also, uh, one time I had a Palm Pilot that I loved dearly because uh-huh. I could get little games on it. And we were in the church uh, pews, me and my class, just waiting for whatever. Mm-hmm. And I showed my friend. I was like, look, there's this little game called Two Inch Town where you can like make your little guys and they run around the city and you like manage the resources and stuff. And he's like, hey, Leo's got a two inch town. <laughs> <laughs> right so, in the two inch town. Yeah. Did you run out crying? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Screaming, crying, wet myself, cry myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, nine yards. I had a, I had a Star Wars related one. I, I got Juba the Hutt a lot. Mm. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. And also, okay, this is a dumb like 80s toy reference that maybe most people listening will not recognize, but there was a toy called Tuba Ruba that was basically like, like 
<laughs> oh, uh, like a flexible tube thing that you would put all around, like wrap around your body in weird ways. Then you'd put like a little uh, like ping pong ball at the top and you'd sort of gyrate and move around to try and get the ball like through the tubes and down to the bottom. Uh, so I got a lot of Juba Ruba. Okay. <laughs> because there was even a catchy song for it. Yeah. Leo... Juba Ruba, Jamaica. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Leo, do see if you can find the like the old Tuba Ruba commercial. It'll have a theme song uh, that you can just substitute Juba Ruba for Tuba Ruba. The number one thing I got made fun of though for was reading comic books at my locker. Mm. Okay, yeah. Where's your god now, comic book haters? We took over the damn world. That's Wait, what I'll say to will you. you be These will made- be movies someday, and y'all love movies. Wait, I wouldn't make fun of you for reading comic books. I would make fun of you for, like, not finding a table and just go- going and sitting down. Yeah, we like, didn't have any. It was were just you, hallways like, with lockers. Were you, like, reading in the, like, five-minute passing periods between classes? And that was, it was before like, school started. Oh. So how, how long were you there? It's just people standing around in groups, and I'd just be sta- sitting there in front of my locker reading, like, Captain America. Hmm. And they did not like that. That was too weird for Shakopee High School. Well, you're in charge now. Exactly. That's right. 19 films later. Where's Only 19. Your God now. <laughs> I believe I have Tuba Ruba prepared. Okay, oh, yes, let's hear it. The hottest game in town. Put your marble in the top, and to win, all you gotta do is tube all around and shake your marble down, down, down. This sounds really dirty, by the way. All right, so you can see that's kind of a like it's not a good song, but the game looks insane. (laughs) Oh yeah, you put like a hamster tube around your body and you shake. (laughs) For them to make the marble come down. Yeah. And you're supposed to, like, race your friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can imagine if you were seeing that commercial, like, like six times every Saturday morning as you were, like, watching your cartoons or whatever, you could imagine how that song might get stuck in your head. Yeah. And it got stuck in my classmates' heads. But with my Yeah. Oh. So, really, you've been very quiet over this whole discussion. I've been, play- I've been playing uh, Killer7. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Look at this now, what's guy. what's that? Tell us about that. Yeah, is that good? It's pretty good. I like it. Oh, okay. Serial, I want to know what... Uh, Ugh, look at that thing. What, what kind of the ammunition... The tube on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of ammunition did your name give your classmate? Oh, God. Uh, where do I start? Uh-oh. Just, uh, it's just the fact that there are so many things that rhyme with my name. Uh, the first one being Serial. And so, yeah. like, eventually, like, they got tired of just calling me Serial. And they just started, like... <laughs> Going with different kinds of cereal. Like, people would call me Count Chocula, <laughs> Captain Crunch, <laughs> Apple Jacks, just pretty much any cereal you could think of, people would just call me that. What's up, Apple Jacks? Jill Juba is a grown man. <laughs> Listen to him. <laughs> this has been the story of my life. Uh, surreal. Um, so, there was a guy, one of my managers that worked at work at one point started was walking sort of mumbling to himself but i don't think he knew he could hear but he would just walk around so real so real so real he would just walk around like you know <laughs> yeah I cleaning remember. out cat like cashiers drawers or whatever just mumbling that under his breath <laughs> <laughs> I, the thing that got me laughing so hard before is just like like okay reiner to wiener that's a tenuous connection, yeah. but it's there. Right. But yours, it's like, your, your name is just sort of, kind of sounds <laughs> like a thing. So then that just became a category a of yeah. nicknames. Yep. Which is just ridiculous. <laughs> What's up, Apple Jacks? <laughs> yeah, that's that's about where that goes. <laughs> What's up, Oops All Berry? <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? Rock and, Rock and roll. Okay. We don't know. It could be anything after that. Yeah. Rock and Rose. Rock and... Rock and... Ro- uh, Rolleroid. Roy. Rock and Roy. <laughs> oh, Rock and Roy. <laughs> Roy's. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I was going to look up famous Roy's. Ryan, look up some Roy's. Where is my phone? Oh, here it is. 
<laughs> so, well, I had a dream about you last night. You did? Yeah, it's one hundred percent true. I, oh, all right. I uh, we there was like a Spider-Man demo that came out. Okay. And for some reason, we decided to cover it where it was like going to be a series of all of us as talking heads talking about it instead <laughs> of just doing like a new gameplay today or whatever. And you were the first one, and you started talking about it, and you talked about what you liked about it and everything. And I realized there was no camera on you, <laughs> and I was too embarrassed to tell you, so I just let you keep going. <laughs> and that was my dream. So you have you have dreams about video video work gone awry. Yes. Okay. Same as when I used to have dreams about restaurant work gone awry. Mm, yeah. Stress dreams about being the only server in the restaurant, stuff like that. Uh, Roy Orbison. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Classic. So it wants to bring up last name Roy, but we want first name, right? Yeah. Famous Roy's. Roy Nardo's or... Roy Halladay, he's a baseball pitcher. Hmm. Roy Hibbert, plays basketball. Roy Rogers, that's a good one. He's Roy Rogers. He's an actor, singer. That's pretty much it. Okay. Roy Campanella, a lot of baseball players. If you're named Roy, you might be in the MLB soon. Okay, so this is something <laughs> that, you know, if, if you are an expecting parent out there and you want a unique name for your child, that isn't something like celebrities uh, would name it, like, you know, Cassidy or some some weird... Yeah, or Greenland or something. Yeah. yeah if, if, if <laughs> Mayberry you, Apple. Vertigo. Yeah. If, if you want an actual real name, a thing that is a name for, you know, a, a child of, of any gender, Roy. Yeah. Roy. Huh, there you go. You could even spell it weird. Kind of yeah. like a Google kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it could be short um, for, uh, like... You could spell it R O I and oh. it be return on investment or rise of iron. Like Roy. <laughs> <laughs> what you say is they're delivered in the hospital. What's up, Roy? <laughs> this sequence right here sums up Killer Seven for me right now. <laughs> Just three slow moving balls. <laughs> hey, what yeah, up? and swearing at them. Yeah, oh yeah. Then you got to swear at them. It's Suda. Look at Roy. these things. Hey, everybody, what up? It's your Roy. Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Roy is our boy. Roy's are. Oh, you didn't see that one, man. Yeah. Yeah, you got you got bald. I did get bald. Uh, Roy yeah. Romano, another famous Roy. Oh, where are you finding that one? That wasn't Wait, on my list. That's Ray Romano. Roy Romano. Oh. <laughs> Everybody loves Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I, I've met more Rory's <laughs> than I've met Roy's. Oh, Siegfried and Roy. Oh, there you okay. go. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Metal Gear Roy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite Metal Gear. <laughs> no, it's Siegfried and Roy. Who who is the Roy? It's it's a one person named Siegfried and Roy. Yeah. Oh. G Biv. <laughs> <laughs> one middle initial in between every name. <laughs> oh, you guys ready for some knowledge you never had in your brain? Oh, Siegfried's you. last name. You ready? Okay. Fischbacher. Hmm. Hmm. Roy's last name? Any guesses? Romano. <laughs> uh, no. Horn. Roy Horn. Okay. That's, well, that's, that's, he was born Yui Ludwig Horn. Louis Ludwig Horn. Yeah. Yui Bull. Yui Horn. You, huh. Are there more Yui's or, or Uva's out there than Yui Bull? Roy's? Uva Bowl. Oh, God, you're going to have me look this up. No, that's okay. This is boring. Yeah. <laughs> the Uva Bowl comes once a year. And last year was <laughs> No, no, no. Was I watched the Uva Bowl just for the commercials. <laughs> no, guys, you can't do that. You have to call it the Big Uva. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like we call it the Big Super. Yeah. They're, they're real litigious about that. <laughs> hmm. So how close are we to that artist now? Uh, pretty close, assuming I, I actually did get all the color samples, which I think I did. I, I like the art in this section. I like how the white yeah. kind of fades at the looks bottom. Really good. But <laughs> I got trapped by those guys. Oh, no! He died! Is that the first time? In this episode? Uh, he died twice on the episode you weren't here. Oh. But besides yeah. that, I don't think once. So here's Lucky Charm until now. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So I think sound? the sound glitched and that that rolling ball. You, is do you have the YouTube page still up? Don't make me say it again. What was that? <laughs> the Tuba Ruba song. <laughs> 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 it 
It's the marble going down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super cut. Ten hours. Marble going down. <laughs> ASMR. Tuba Ruba play. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, when Joe was talking about that, or when we were listening to that commercial, for whatever reason, I was reminded of Police Academy having action figures. Oh, yeah. And they used to have commercials that played all the time. I wonder if there was a jingle on those, if you could find one of those. Police Academy, remember those movies? There was like five of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. a jingle for the trailer? For the toys. Oh, for the toys. For the Police Academy action figures. I don't know if it was just kids yelling and playing with them or what but I remember that commercial over and over and over I don't remember that was what's happening I had He's, one of the found the, the corpse of the, um, the guy who died and so now we're reviving him. yeah Garcin has to go and like clean play cleanup I can feel no remorse when seeing a dead body to me, nice dude really cold. I did it. <laughs> you did it that looked hard it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold Surreal. That's right. So, Joe, you're on the sticks in the next Super Replay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've I've actually been resisting the temptation to sort of practice. To yeah, don't. People practice. don't want us to be good at these, yeah. no. clearly. In fact, I actually went back and forgot the last two chapters of this game so that I would do way worse at them. Oh, good. I like that the Super Replay is different, though. Yeah. yeah, all of our super replays kind of have their own little vibes, right? Yeah. Well, and some I don't know. I feel like I feel like fumbling around in Killer Seven would be less interesting and fun for everyone involved than maybe some of those other games. All right, let's find all out right. if we got all of them. What'd you put in there? A drumstick? The odd engraving. Oh, I'm missing one of them. What? What did it, what did it just show us? Uh, yeah. So it's supposed to match like the colors. So like it'll show like here's the RGB values of every ah oh so it was yeah, RGB. Cool. This game's too clever. Did you guys see Wazaru? Okay, we're looking know. for him. Yeah, he's the guy who hands you the samples. I like that we're kind of stuck for once. Interesting change of pace. Has I'm, your prediction of l- number of episodes changed? Uh, maybe 12, 12 13. Still, 12 might still be possible, but not looking super likely. So first it was 7, then it was 10, now it's 12. When did I say 7? I don't think I ever said 7. Yeah, right at, when we decided to do it, you're like, I could do it in 7. No, check the tape. In, in, in the, there was definitely an estimate of 7 as being a reasonable uh, guess. Not Maybe not definitive, but like, uh, I think I might be able to do it in 7 episodes. You told me... A few weeks ago, you just told a great lie hey. to Joe. Was that maybe it? Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> He's got it. Dude, that's all of them. We did it. We finished the puzzle. Man, I hated being stuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but we be, got through it together. Yeah, it can be real frustrating sometimes. But, oh, well, Leo maybe did some video work cutting out those four hours that we were just that's right. walking around. Mm. Hey, is there a Police Academy commercial or no? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can get it to work this time. Let me see. Runner's real set on that He's just account. hitting a bunch of buttons in there on the control board. <laughs> Show me Police Academy commercial. Hey, you, Leo, if you just want to play a random YouTube video, that's also fine. Okay. You just Yeah, just tell Runner. Oh, I did a random one. It happens to be the same one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what are the odds? I can hear something. But not much. I hear the faint laughter of children. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can hear it, and I don't hear a jingle. Oh. Okay. That's all we wanted. Fun commercial, right? It makes me want those action figures, even though I haven't seen the movies. There was five of those, I think. And I think they even had, like, the next generation and stuff like that. Wasn't there also a cartoon? I feel like there was also a Oh, maybe that's what they're based on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had all sorts of weird stuff. We had the real Ghostbusters and then the fake Ghostbusters running at the same time. Yeah. Do you remember uh, the fake Ghostbusters? It was just a show called Ghostbusters. And oh. so the real Ghostbusters, the one like based on the movie, had to call themselves the real Ghostbusters. Mm. Yeah, because the, like th- that had 
the characters like Egon and Peter and mm-hmm. stuff, but the one that was Ghostbusters didn't for some reason. Yeah, it was just like a weird, completely removed, separate entity. And they were running concurrently? Like they, Yeah, they, it they're like on a, TV okay. at the same time. There was a live action one before that, right? That had like a monkey in it? That, that has to be like a rights thing, right? Wow. Like at some point. I don't remember that. Live action monkey Ghostbusters? I'll look it up. <laughs> Maybe I'm He says excitedly. Mad. <laughs> Ghostbusters 8 <laughs> online. Oh, oh no. Oh no, it's slowly going to get you. Ah, that was a cool perspective. Yeah, I'm going to back up a little bit. <laughs> make e- shooting a little easier. There was another weird cartoon. Randy, do you remember? Did you ever watch Pro Stars? Uh uh-uh. uh. That was a cartoon starring. Wayne Gretzky, Bo Jackson. I remember the commercials. And was it Michael Jordan? I think Michael Jordan was the other one. And it was like, yeah, they were like action heroes, but they're like Wayne Gretzky's big like move was always like, you know, pulling out his hockey stick and hitting like slap shotting something. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, Bo Jackson. Wow. Were any of them named and Roy? <laughs> no. But the the theme song to that was uh, "We Will Rock You," except the lyrics were changed to just be "We Are Pro Stars." <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> really? That's a hundred percent true. Yep. That that cannot be true. <laughs> to the point that I think I re- seem to remember them changing the theme song at some point. Like I, maybe they didn't get the rights to "We Will Rock You" and they got <laughs> <laughs> they got slapped with some sort of cease and desist. <laughs> This theme song only works if if it's under this tone and at this beat, so we're going to have to come up with something, guys. Yeah, there was definitely 100%. There was a time that was just like, we are, we are pro stars. <laughs> Pretty good, actually. Yeah. One of Weird Al's best. <laughs> uh, they confirmed there was a show called The Ghostbusters, live action children's sitcom from 1975. Wow. Wow. Two okay. dudes and a guy in a gorilla costume. That's what our podcast should be called. Two dudes and a guy in a gorilla Wait, costume. We're never going to show each other, so we can just say Leo's in a gorilla suit. Wait, but that's not even... So that's not even based on, like, the Ghostbusters IP. They just had the, like, yeah, trademark... Yeah, Ghostbusters the, is two words here. Yeah, they just, mm. like, tra- had the name Ghostbusters trademark, so they had to change it. The fake Ghostbusters cartoon wasn't even based on it either. Huh. There's just one. The real Ghostbusters. What a strange time to be alive. That's what I was saying when I was a kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the best thing about when we were kids is that it was the best time to be kids. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I feel I feel sorry for those other kids growing up like today. Yeah, with all your Ooh. phones and computers and yeah. stuff. Because you know when they grow up, they're going to recognize. They're going to be like, man, I wish I was a kid in the 80s instead of, you know, the 2000 teens. Even when I was a kid, like gonna playing to. Tony Hawk and stuff, watching what... Foster's own for imaginary friends. I was like, damn, I wish I had three versions of the Ghostbusters. I I wish I could watch a poorly animated cartoon starring sports people. I wish I had a real one and a fake one. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, you can look up info on your phone, but you're missing out. Like when we used to like have to go to the library and go through the card catalog and go find a book just to find out a factoid. Yeah, that was the Mm. best. Those were the days. Being smart was more valuable. Look what he did. Guys, look. It's happening. They're all turning green. I'm glad that they didn't actually make this a puzzle, because this looks like it'd be real tedious. Well done, Count Chocula. We did it. <laughs> I was actually kind of concerned that I was missing more color samples, because <laughs> I would have been, I did not know, I didn't like have no, I had no immediate like, okay, where else did I miss? Because like, usually you just go through this level and you just talk to Ibizaru, but you know, I was maybe a little distracted during <laughs> this what, particular playthrough. What is the best name for a, if you are based on a serial? Like, Captain Crunch, that one's great. Captain Crunch is pretty good. Because then you have, like, Miller, military honorifics. Yeah. Right. Mm. You're honored. <laughs> uh, who, so what you're asking, basically, is who's the most powerful serial, ga- uh, serial <laughs> mascot? <laughs> right, oh, right. Oh, that's a good question. Top like, five. Okay, but are we talking, like, who would win in a fight or, like, who's the highest ranking? Uh, I feel like... Ca- well, they're all in the military. Yeah. <laughs> It's I like, don't know. I feel like those three Rice Krispie guys, they wear sort of military like. Yeah. Oh, wait. They're either military or marching band uniforms. I guess I'm not <laughs> sure which. 
It's really the same thing. Yeah, I think if we're like assembling our Avengers serial team, yeah, who who would be on that? I think you got Captain Crunch. He's our Captain America. Yeah, I mean, you definitely want that the Leprechaun for his powers. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Lucky. Yeah. Uh, getting some cutscenes here. Oh. Oh. Write these down, Leo. It's a good topic. There's the artist. He's hurting. It's Dan Smith, my man. Yo, how's it going with next week's story, huh? Whoa, this is unbelievable. You really came? I didn't think I had such power. You're one lucky guy, you know that? Let me ask you, what happens to your prophecy if I shoot you right now? Oh, uh, I already wrote it. I wrote the story, so you'll die. Hey, <laughs> it's almost time for their appearance. The appearance of heroes! You better watch out. These handsome men are tough. <coughs> Trust me, I know. Because I wrote them. Kill Dan! Give him the old handsome wink stuff! Handsome wink! <coughs> oh, no. I suggest you don't get too involved. Unless, of course, you want to end up like this fellow here. You think you guys can kill me? I didn't know Killer7 had a sense of humor. It's showdown. Dan Smith. Here's a win. Oh, no. You'll pay for Black's death, bloody psychopaths, <laughs> Killer7. Prepare to die. We are the Punishing Rangers. The handsome men! Sorry, but your stupid series ends today. I'll finish you all at once if that's more convenient. Fine! Let's settle this <laughs> once and for all. Seven versus seven, fair and square. The place will be Broadway, New York at 0400. Wait, I'm not finished with you yet. Talk about characters out of a comic book. That doesn't make any sense. What part of that does it make? Yeah, but but I about. got that. What? Why did, he classic say, saying? why did he say, wait, I'm not done with you yet, and then teleport away? <laughs> He's like running away off screen. Yeah, he'll be back. But then yeah, why his, he... It seemed like he was not given proper instruction in the voice booth about what he was saying. Okay. Hmm. Like he said it like, hey, slow down, when really it was, <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Okay, okay. Okay, back to the topic at hand. Yes. Captain Crunch. We got yeah. lucky. Yeah. Um, Tony Tiger. No. He would be like the Hulk, right? Well, no. Yeah. I mean, he's just a tiger. I mean, I was thinking he's about that. He's a buff tiger, He doesn't man. do anything, though. Like, like him, the tricks rabbit, and that uh, the Fruit Loop guy. What what can they do? They're just they're just animals who who can talk. That's not a. I mean, Lucky will like snap his fingers and they just evaporate, turn into colored marshmallows. Right. And well, so. what do Snap, Crackle, and Pop do? Nothing. They're not on either. I say you have to get people like Count mm. Chocula. Yeah, yeah, because he's a vampire. He's a straight up vampire. That's like the dark side of the serial universe. Yeah. I picture him kind of as like the Doctor Strange figure. Oh, you also need so this this guy doesn't have superheroes, but you need the bandit from Cookie Crisp. He can be your rogue sort of oh, yeah, yeah. infiltrate. Oh, how about this one? Here's we're a not curveball. assembling a team. We just we just we are becoming one of them. No, we're, we're assembling, assembling a, team. a team. Okay, we are assembling Stop a team. Stop paying attention Avengers. to the game and Sorry. start paying attention to our <laughs> conversation. Uh, here's a deep cut. Okay. Raisin Bran. Remember the sun? The two scoop oh, sun? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Having the sun on your team? Okay. But then yep. he's stationary. Like, you have to fight. You have to center all fights during the day. Happen. During the day. Oh, but I mean, and I, in his in his <laughs> solar system. I imagine this. Oh, actually, that's a good point. Is that our sun or is that just a sun? <laughs> yeah. Like, no, it is a sun. Like, he shows up in people's bedrooms and <laughs> in kitchens and shit. That's true. Man, I like the idea of just like. Like destabilizing an entire solar system by <laughs> by just a new sun briefly appearing. <laughs> yeah, this is a good topic. Yeah. Okay. They're coming. I think that's our five. That's pretty good. 
I like these guys a lot. Me too. It is kind of messed up though that they couldn't even go with brown. They just had to be light brown. You had to differentiate them that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like she's pink, but like the other one's light brown. Huh. Why not? Why not, why not just call yourself Punishing brown? Rangers? Did, did, did you see that? A real handsome pose. <laughs> Hope you guys are ready. I must say, to decide where you will die is a gallant act. Fitting for the Killer 7, don't you think? I think that's enough chit-chat. Shall we begin? Why not? I've got the ultimate cards matched up. Let's get it on! So is it just a series of one-on-one -on -one fights? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's cool! I like this. I like this setup. Yeah, this is great. Here we are in <laughs> New York City, the Big Apple. What? First matchup: match Harmon Smith versus Handsome Red. All right, all right. I'm glad he got in a wheelchair. So be fair. Oh, they get the same weapons, huh? Oh, nice! Did it? Is that just a quick draw contest? But it, more or less, like all the I, all these fights are predetermined. What? Oh. oh, like you're not even playing? No, I am playing, but the I can't lo I can't win any of the fights that I'm going to lose. Like that one? Yeah. But you do have to basically inflict enough damage to like. I proceed. see. This is like. DC versus Marvel, where they pick the winners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, so, or like the Captain Crunch cinematic universe or yeah. whatever. <laughs> the M Serial U. Our third <laughs> is Coyote Smith versus Handsome Gold. Figure you'd name it after yourself. <laughs> no, the other one. <laughs> I mean, we're not too far removed from this crossover actually happening in like comic books or something. Injustice. The video game that moved over to the comic realm mm -hmm. is crossing over with He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Mm. Okay. Oh, they also confirm it's Kaede. Hmm? First time I really noticed it. It's resolved. Nice shooting. Though it's weird that it just that doesn't cool. let you win some fights. Uh-oh. Oh, is for tension. I wonder if it's going to come down to three three wins each and then a final fight. Mm. I wonder. We'll see. Probably not. They're probably just going to win the next two and then the last one doesn't even happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's usually how they do it. Wh what? He's dead color. <laughs> I painted myself dead. Is that an animation? What are we looking at here? He's it's like Genji. He shoots knives. Yeah. Blizzard actually looked at this uh, <laughs> growing animation when <laughs> wow. creating okay. Kenji. Uh-oh, you're losing now. Might as well just restart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just keep resetting. This one's actually a roguelike, so I have to start the entire game over now. <laughs> Except for this part. This is predetermined. <laughs> yeah. Sixth match up, match up, Dan Smith versus Handsome Blue. Wait, so the last one is the grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, you end with a bang. Also, Dan Smith talks all that mess and then he loses? No, he win, he'd win this one. Oh, there right, yeah. Bring it back. You're very good at this. I've practiced. <laughs> by pressing the X button while holding down the R1 button. In various games. Yeah. In Dead Rising. Seventh That's right. Matchup, matchup. Mask Smith versus Handsome Purple. Match we've been waiting to see. Do it! Yes! Oh, oh nice. they're gonna have you lose this one? Oh no! Nice headshots yeah. with the grenades there. Precision is important. Oh, 
<gasps> oh my god. Game over. Man. Well, the super replay's over. I mean podcast. Right. The super replays podcast. Welp, this podcast is over. The classic closing line. <laughs> <laughs> podcast is over. We are done podcasting. Good night. <laughs> Do people still listen to podcasts? Is that a thing? Oh, uh, no. Those, now that Twitch and YouTube were, and all that are like... They were made illegal in 2013. Yeah, it's really a thing of the past, Rainer. Love me a good podcast. I mean, they're video casts now. Right? Yeah. We do, yeah. The Game Informer show is a video cast. What's that? What's a Game Informer show? It's something we do every week. People can watch. Where can I find this listen. so-called Game Informer show? On YouTube.com. <laughs> They've got a new site. Yeah, have we talked to them about having a show called The Game Informer Show? I don't think we should allow them to do that. Wait, age match? What? No, legit question, though. Have most popular podcasts gone to video cast? I like, you could still listen to it on, like, a podcast channel, but do they also do video cast? Her world of games and the real I bet so. world coexist as one. <sighs> nice to meet you, Mr. Killer Garcian. My name's Love. How do you know my name? Because I write the story, mister. I don't find her hair alive. Here's the thing. I'm it's working just for Wendy. Electro Online Inc. I create No one's in Times Square. Media. You see? You're saying that they're all Electro Online's advertisements. That's why I'm going to bring them down. I'll make them pay for Trevor's death. Can you really do it? I'll make sure justice is done. But in my book, though, you be sure to check it out in next week's issue. I'm really glad we met, Mr. Killer Garcia. You know, Killer's not my first name, right? The pleasure's <laughs> all mine. Love, your passion is inspiring to us all. Thank you. I'll be watching you, mister. Leo, you okay? Warn me about that kind of stuff. <laughs> Jump scares. Yeah. We did it! Yay! Next Super Replay starts when, guys? Uh, tomorrow. Wait a minute. Was that Mask's final form? Yeah. Thank First you Texas for watching, Rango. too. Yeah. Well done. It didn't even take 12 episodes. Yeah. Wait a minute. Now I can pretend ah. this is it. Woo. I, and we do our ceremonial applause at the end of every replay. <laughs> replay. We are done replaying now. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the end of the super replay. <laughs> Looks like we've reached the end of the super replay. <laughs> <laughs> that was laughter for our bad joke there. That was our studio audience. <laughs> our studio audience is one creepy guy. <laughs> <laughs> three boring Held dudes. Held against their will no, and three, told to laugh. Three boring guys. One boring dude and one creepy guy. P potentially a hostage. <laughs> <laughs> Unclear. <Unclear. laughs> laugh. <laughs> Potential hostage. That's a good name for an album or band or podcast mm. or, sorry, video cast. Mm. Now, Reiner, I... I'm, I was trying to think about that. I think some. I think straight up, the most popular podcasts are still just podcasts. But like, do they like the mo like This American Life? Yeah, I mean, there was like I a video version on HBO a couple of years back, but that was see, very, it was discontinued. <gasps> it wasn't very popular. So or it was more popular just to listen to HBO, or like um, well, uh, of This American Life, or like uh, on HBO on HBO or Showtime oh. or some some premium network. They said of HBO. The plan's been going on for a while. Or like the shows like Serial and S Town. Yeah. Are all don't even know what that is. I know there's like shows on NPR, but that's radio. That's different, right? But like I Serial mean, is never... specifically a podcast though. Like I don't think they air Serial on radio, but I could be wrong. Video podcast is just like no room for it in my life. I can listen yeah. to stuff while I'm biking or busing or whatever, but 
Yeah. But the video cast could, like the Game Informer show, could just be the same as the audio version. You just oh. get a little something extra. Wait, right. you watch it. Whoa. No! What are we looking at there, Surreal? A uh, dead body. Man in a diaper. Uh, is that a flashback? Finally a character I could relate to and they kill him off. <laughs> Someone wearing a harness <laughs> and so, rings on their nipples. So yeah. that's how, is that, was that supposed to be Iwazaru there? Uh, it looked just I like him. For the sake of spoilers, uh, I don't want to say too much, but thank you. it's related. The, the visual similarities are... Okay. Matching. Oh, we're going to building. Or we're leaving building. No, we're going to Washington. That was Urban building. area. Suburb. Garcian's trailers. Also, I like that, that in this world, murdering isn't like a super lucrative endeavor since Garcian lives in a trailer. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Right. Though his grocery bill for seven people must be, you know, yeah. cut into his disposable income. Did we answer that question? Whether or not you'd be able to eat for, you'd have to eat for seven? Or if you just eat for one and everyone. Oh, man, that was so long ago. I don't remember what I we think Renner doing. was going to write a full screenplay about that. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, are you done with and, that? And present no. it to Suda. Still in the uh, scripting stages of, uh, you know, creating the arc. Oh, yeah. Sure. I, still, I still have a baby James Bond theme song to write for Surreal to sing true. also. Whoa. How are we going to save? That's your first That's your first question is how are we going <laughs> to yeah, we need her to save. That's a problem. So, if you're going over to that corpse, the polite thing to do is close the eyelids, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But do you also shut her mouth? Or and zip up her pants? Yeah. Yeah. Do you do all those and things? And sit her upright on the chair. I think at some point that becomes like tampering with a crime scene. <laughs> yeah. I guess it depends on how much you respect the law. Versus people's which I think Killer rights. Seven they respect it yeah very much. Plus, what if they Check. find your fingerprints on our eyelids? Oh, yeah, Good point. Coincidence. Check. <laughs> this time the game is mine. <laughs> Say it. Say it. Do you want to hear a story, Harmon? What do you want him to say? Checkmate. Why oh. Not? There once was a young man who had a promising future. The center back position was his to keep, and no one could take that away from him. Any play was a fair play. No one blew the whistle on him. Everybody loved him. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, That's my story. Something. They were the perfect couple. He graduated from Columbia with an MBA. His opportunity was infinite. He could do whatever he wanted with his life. But was he satisfied? No. Every night he would cry, begging the Lord. Something deep within needed awakening. Then one day it happened. The end. That moment <laughs> when the subconscious rises to the surface. Well, the way it triggered was very simple. It happened when his mother came on to him one night. As if the spirit of Jack the Ripper had taken over his body, he stabbed mm. and stabbed until you couldn't tell who she was. You know what I think? An angel whispered into his ear. The angel gave him the extra courage he needed to give her the divine retribution she deserved. Sure she wasn't the Hell's Angel. I'm pretty sure she only had good intentions. You really are a villain. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. But I must admit, my memory has become a bit misty these days. <laughs> okay, can you just put that laughter in frightened sound on loop for like 10 hours as a video mm -hmm. what's the lot what's the most you've ever made it through a 10 hour video i made it like three hours into uh splatoon 2 character creator music 10 hour loop okay because you know i'd just click it and it would pick up from where i left off mm. 
Maybe we could do that for Extra Life this year. Just have someone isolated in a room <laughs> watching one of those 10 hour videos. Yeah. And we'll just check in on them every once in a while. Just like, but they're behind the glass window over there. Like, we yeah, can you, go talk yeah. to them. We just. Nope. It's just like way. an exhibit. Yeah, I, exactly. I, I like that. The remnant parties have started what video would we move. choose for that? I felt a disturbance in the air. Hmm. That will be picked by uh, the community. Exhibit. Whoever has the Different highest donation. Smiling faces. There's it's one of hard to predict the kind of terrorism I'll Japan will engineer. Terrorism using wit most likely. Think they're capable of damage devastating enough to shake the foundation of the United States? I need you to fly to Philly, right? A former aide to the leader of the UN party is information. He goes by the name Matsuke. Okay, he's staying at the Union Hotel. Now find him. Who is he? Kenjiro Matsuoka. Christopher Mills has a pretty good car. That belonged to the UN party. Now, he's the leader of 10 million secret Japanese members that are scattered around the world. He is a major force. 10 million? What do you think they're capable of? If they gathered in one state and organized their votes as one large block vote, then... They could win the seat of a state. It's gonna be a wild game, cause everyone's gonna want a piece of Matsuken. The master has disappeared. Uh, yeah, Garci. About that. Uh, look, I need to tell you something real important. Go ahead, lay it on. Let's see, how should I, um... Okay, 30 years ago, you and Harmon. <gasps> Christopher Mills! No! What? No! Pretty slow reaction times for, for someone. <laughs> Is he a slob? Uh, I guess I should get out of the car. <laughs> wow! safe yep uh this uh, the video is not 10 hours long but the one i like is uh mike wazowski getting nutted at 0.17 percent speed <laughs> and it's the scene from monsters inc where does the front flip and lands on his groin on the bar oh. huh? and okay. when it's slowed down to 0.17 percent speed it's like this droning noise the entire time <laughs> and it's absolutely horrifying but that's your favorite one yeah that's the one the person should watch okay. over and over again okay so one question this story is bringing up right now is like why the villain Kun Lan, right? That's his name, I think. Yeah. Why was he in the forbidden room in Garcin's trailer? And why were he, why was he and Harmon like chilling out and afraid of Garcin? That's sort of answered at the end, but again, like part of Killer Seven is that this it's is, not to the he, union, like. Sir. There's I'm not a lot of clear analysis. I actually I'm meeting someone. I bring it up oh, now. Mr. Smith. Because I remember some We've of the things that happen at the end. The top floor. Please use the elevator in the back. Those are questions to be asking right now. Right, right. For your reading for your How do you uh, reading list that you're obviously keeping yeah, yeah. as you follow along with us on Killer guests. Seven. Even your bag, sir. Huh? Whoa. Fans of the extended Sudiverse will recognize that character from Flower, Sun, and Rain. How close are we to saving? Uh, I believe we can save right now, actually. Well, not right now, but whenever it is. I can find it. Ah. <laughs> There's our studio audience again. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'll take a couple seconds here. I have to kill all these guys. Uh, oh, I hear footsteps. They sound close. You're, you're gonna get heaven smiled. Oh, Garcin is so weak. If only they had a glowing spot you could be aiming for. I gave up on it when the frame rate went, <laughs> <laughs> went to no! the garbage. No! You hatched another one. You can do it. You can do it. He's a pretty cool character, right? Yeah. I like him. 
He still curses, but it's not as, you know, blatant. Yeah, as it's cons. just under his breath. So I don't see how you guys can be so cavalier right now after we just saw our good buddy Christopher Mills get killed. We, Dude, I yelled with you. But, but now you're just moving on. All we can do is move on. It's what to the next want. episode. It's what Christopher Mills would have wanted. That's the end of the episode. So let's yeah. actually move on. You cool with that? Or you just want to take a moment to reflect on this? Uh, you no. have something to say? We can no. take a week of grieving. Okay, here's Obviously, what Obviously, I- none of us have to come into work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, grieving. we just got out of the super replay. None of us can come back to work after the No, after uh, no I, I, I'm done. Reiner, it's time, to, time for you to sign us off with our signature ending phrase. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>